And Marguerite, how do you see how the use of your quilts has evolved and how do you see how it might evolve, perhaps airports and large spaces in the future? Can you say something about the, how the use has evolved? Well, I think when somebody starts making quilts, they really think of making quilts for beds. Um, certainly the first quilt that I ever made was a log cabin, and I did make it for a bed, and I was just fascinated with reds and browns. And as I started making this quilt, you do start with a center square then, and then you sew two square, two um, rectangles of one color, and then two of a different color, and you keep alternating them. And I think I was so fascinated by the dialogue that gets set up between the colors. I started telling myself a story, and I imagined anyone that was looking at the quilt would could begin to uh, see the story that I was I was telling in color that was so much fun. So starting uh, just making things for the bed, at um, one point I decided to make quilts for the kitchen, and then I started making them smaller, and I saw them as um, mostly they had food themes. And then I realized that if I made them a lot bigger, they had more impact. Mm. So I started making them four times as big as they were at first. And of course, once you start making things bigger, then you keep going, well, maybe I'll make it even bigger than that. But I think I'm starting to think a little smaller, uh, think of actual wall space that uh, someone might want to put something like a quilt on. And uh, the biggest quilts that I have made, you, you know, you're right, would look probably very good in airports. They look good where they're on huge walls uh, that in, where they can be seen from a long way off. But... Um, so I think, you know, you just uh, I go back and forth. I, I've always liked the challenge of the bigger, bigger and bigger quilts.